Show me what you got. <laughs> Suicide Squad Kill Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I've uh, like by Rocksteady, <laughs> but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've never seen before. <laughs> We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but like, through the eyes of the villains. We're picking up the story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. Just checking. So We're seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat. Wait, Arkham Knight? Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city. But Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very people they've been sworn to protect. Oh, fuck, it's Superman! <laughs> so the Justice League share the same goal? <laughs> no, I'm actually, go I'm actually gonna play as Boomerang. Earth and turn it into the I'm sorry, he's just too fun. What we've created is a classic Justice League, but with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They Green Lantern as well. Oh man, Waller. Superman looks crazy cool in that. Uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. And she recruits our four lovable Deborah characters. Wilson is just going to be amazing as, as Waller. To reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. The members of the Suicide Squad are Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, <laughs> Deadshot, and King Shark. Harley Quinn is definitely yeah, no, it's boomerang. Of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind of physicality of it and, and trying to keep that momentum going and use that to go over buildings, oh. or swing under bridges. Oh, she's the, kind of the, the grapple machine. She's not swinging the from the sky, she's swinging from a drone. I'm a freaking superstar. Deadshot. Okay, that's quite cool. I like how they've kind of like filtered that out so she can fly anywhere. And in this game, he can also hover with his jetpack. He's super precise. He uses sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols. And they all fit with his sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin. Are you on Team Waller? Or Team Get the Hell Out of This Mess? King Shark, to me, as as a person, is, well, uh, as a fish. Th this is, is really good. This incredible character who's super well-read and super well-to-do, and I'm sure could smash an operatic performance. Actually, I'm the son of a god. It is my shame to suffer mortals and their buffoonery. But also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is... Uh, he's a I was character. not expecting him to be... <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> That's kind of brilliant. Captain Boomerang's got his um, Speed Force gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and Speed Force to that point along the walls, along the floor, and get wherever he wants to go. You can use that. To go Captain up. Boomerang has access Dodge to the freaking Speed Force. The I did. I, I don't know a lot about the character, so maybe. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. One of the most exciting <laughs> parts that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. It's all widow. And you have Penguin, the arm stealer. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack, who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate Ooh. the world but also upgrade their mech bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike on an ice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. And then finally we have Gizmo, who is helping the squad with insane vehicle creations that let you blow shit up. <laughs> the, <gym plan. laughs> the technical explanation. You're gonna get to meet different characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast this to the city, which is very dirty. Totally insane. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean. It's very functional. So it is open the world? The difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So there is a lot of statues to thank Superman for everything he's done for the city. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villain's eyes. You're getting to experience this world and traverse through this world as the villains. Greetings, Metropolis! 
to the core ability that everything wraps yeah, around it's, to yeah. the squad is down on the flash. How yeah. it works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those reversal moves, and the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing. Working out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks. And how I'm getting to your best even from the Control character the design, like as the enemy design, design and the character design. Awesome I'm getting sunset variety, overdrive vibes. This is like sunset weapons, overdrive. We've got assault rifles, SMGs, in rifles, a DC shotguns, universe and with multiplayer online co-op. From weapon manufacturers. There's so yeah. Weapons. There's GCP. This weapons, looks amazing. There's armor tech weapons. Later on in the game, we also have gear sets. The gear sets are villain themed. For example, if you have a Bane gear set and you trigger <sighs> his buffs in the game, some of it will have the Bane drums and you will be like Bane and like boom, boom, boom. And then there's like green smoke and you trigger all kind of effects. So you're so there's like status effects, that kind of deal. The villain, you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as it goes up, it means that you can take Loadouts. more locations. As part of this progression journey, you will unlock more and more builds, more and more ways to customize your character to really fit the way you want to play. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you're going to get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need um, to Are they customizable? Most importantly, you will be able to customize There's a freaking your Wonder Woman. To be whatever you like. You can wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around <laughs> in your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score ever. I like it. Our game okay, I'm King Shark. He gets to be Superman. Experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or three friends. For yes. single player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad so you still feel like you're part of a team and you can switch them if you want. I'm going to try King Shark now uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission. So I'm going to switch over and we're going to try her out. I wonder if it's, I wonder if you get to switch per mission or if you get to just switch on the fly. As you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how you can all play together in different play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice. And do you have to, if you're playing in co-op, do you need to play? When the story's done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We're going to deliver lots of new content to our players. We're going to have new playable characters, new weapons, and new missions. For players who like to customize their looks, new characters? For a pass that only contains cosmetic items. What? There's just going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. If you like it's live service. Games, if you like RPG elements, if you it's like live service. games, if you like customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very fast paced, it's really colorful, it's loud and unapologetic and in your face, and it's going to be really, really fun. Hey, Metropolis, do you like live executions? Well, don't touch that dial. <laughs> Or I'll break your fingers. <laughs> Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League arrives on PS5 later this year. We'll be back with more announcements soon. Thanks for watching. I am so excited. I'm so excited.